All right, today Chad and I are gonna be checking out this beautiful 1974 Barracuda. Uh, finished in a charcoal gray with black stripe. Uh, man, I just love this color combination. Yeah, it's a fantastic color combination. I love the uh, raised white letters with the Magna 500s, and the car's got a fantastic stance. I mean, just an awesome stance, guys. If we look up and down the sides of it, it's a nice straight car. Not an overly restored car. The car was restored back in 2010 to 2013, and uh, they just did kind of a period correct restore. They left the 318 two barrel in it still with the dual exhaust. Pretty much just the way this car came, except for it's not the original color. A few things that could have been done better are the jams and the bottom of the hood and stuff. You can see that, I don't know if they just kind of- They used a rock guard. They used a rock guard on the jams on it and same thing on the inner um, bottom of the hood. Um, engine runs good and this car really drives nice. I can't wait to uh, get behind the wheel of it and show you guys how nice it really drives. Even though it's 318 two barrel, you know, you still got your power steering and power brakes, so well option car. I like Chad said, you know, it goes down the road really nice. And they did uh, go ahead and paint all the inner fenders, stuff like that. Um, all the rest of it's done in kind of a semi-gloss black. And just not a show car under the hood, but just a cool driver. Now, as we walk up to the car, I mean, this is a local car show quality car, um, but it still has a few imperfections and uh, I guess that's the best way to put it. Fantastic, yeah, an older restoration, but a fantastic looking car. The bumper was re-chromed when it was done. It's got a great looking front end. However, it's very typical of these uh, plastic front grills. It does have a crack right in the very front of the grill there. They did a nice job on the gap from front to back and lining up across the top of the hood to the top of the fender. And how many people, guys, go ahead and go to the back, but how many people leave the Barracuda hood on them and don't turn them all into Cudas? That's what I think is pretty cool. This car started out as a Barracuda and that's how it was restored. Okay, now you want to idle down like you're supposed to. As far as that dual exhaust sound, it's got a great sound to it. Just a nice, healthy 318. What do you think of the color combo, D, on this this dark gray with the black interior and the black stripes and the race white letters? Everything just goes perfectly together. Yeah, it's kind of like subtle and classy, I think. Yeah. We have a really nice gap at the back of the hood. Um, top of the fender here goes all the way down right There it looks nice bottom of the lower fenders in good shape if you go to our website coyoteclassics.com You're gonna see about 20 to 25 photos of the undercarriage of this 1974 Barracuda as well It also uh, in our description it comes with a bunch of Receipts of work done on it and kind of timetable on it also has this original broadcast sheet Which is really nice and important on these Some little solvent pop here in this uh so very small, just right in there, we want to point out, very, very small, probably a circle right in here. Um, tinted glass in the back, it does have some uh, kicker 6x9s in the back as well. Um, they went ahead and kind of halfway seam sealed. seam sealed here. I mean, it's not bad, but like I said, there's just a few things on the car. Um, this little piece here has also been rhino lined. This is black right down in here underneath the bumper. I don't know why they did that, but they did. Uh, back panel is in excellent shape. The tail lights, tail light chrome is great. Inside the trunk is solid with its correct mat. Um, dual exhaust is nice and it comes out over the original um, dual exhaust balance. How it's just got a couple little, not the complete cutouts, but it's just you can see the little bumps there for that. It does have the wheel well trim. Uh, if you look at the top of the door, it's got just a little clear coat drip maybe right here. It's just got a few little things here and there, but not a lot of chips or anything. Door handles have been replaced. As we open up the doors, the door jam paint right here is nice, but you can see where they Z-bar did it right on the very top edge of the rocker. And that's the best way to put it, it was a factory Z-bar car, I'm guessing, and, and that's why you have that. Instead of stripping all that to bare metal, they probably just, just painted over that there. Um, jams in the corner of the doors, stuff like that are all painted. When they did the paint job, they put all new rubbers and felts and roof rail rubbers in it. Uh, door panels are excellent. Seat covers were replaced. And they did a fantastic job on the seats. Really nice job there. Carpet's new. Console's excellent. Um, 
Dash is in excellent shape. Dome light works. Headliner's nice. It's got, it uh, looks to me like just two little, you can see like two little spots where maybe the wires or the clips or something on that headliner. Other than that, it's perfect. Top of the back seat, back seat's great. Door panels are nice. Um, it's got seat belts for two in the back. You got your tractables here, the shoulders in the front. Go ahead and roll up your windows there. Another thing I like about this Barracuda is with those receipts, the restoration was done a number of years ago and the previous owner had claimed he put about five, 6,000 miles on it. So mechanically it's had those miles put on it. A lot of the stuff that needed to be done was done. Um, and uh, the paint's held up. Yeah, so. that's what we like to see. I mean, I like a restoration with some age on it so you can see, you know, how things were done. If they were done those six months ago, you just really don't know what you're gonna end up with once you get it home or, or um, get it in some weather. As far as the uh, lower quarter rocker doors, all that seems to be in really good shape as well. Let's take this thing for a ride. Your windows go up pretty nicely. Yeah, they did. Uh, door panel's in excellent shape. Again, you have that rock guard right down in here. That's been painted over. Um, not only have you got new felts you get, and rubbers, you've got the new up and down quarter seals as well. And it's got the original Mopar glass in it. Again, this seat, you're not going to get any nicer seats than this. I mean, they're definitely show quality. The inside show quality in the car. Really good looking car. 25,237 on the odometer. Horn works, it starts really easy. Wipers work as well and park correctly. Oh my god, the radio temperature gauge works great. We're over right here to the medium. Um, alternator gauge works, gas gauge works, heater fan works. Talk about the dome light. Radio works with the dome as well. Yeah, you got a little remote. Said, this little thing sounds good. It does. Here you go. I drove it the other day as soon as it came off the trailer and I was just super impressed of how it handled the front suspension, brakes, everything on it. Everything worked. Yeah. And it sounds, it's got a good sound coming out of that uh, 318 as well. Said, this thing, you know, we took it out on the highway at 0 to 70. It picks right up to speed. You know, it's not a huge super muscle car, but you know, in 1974, they started kind of getting away from that. It's a kick down and the training works great. It picks up speed just yeah, as fast does. as freaking a 360. Yeah, it does. Man, it's got that nice throaty sound too. It's actually getting kind of cold today. Shifts really smooth. Yeah, it does. It's that 904, with those receipts on that 904 being rebuilt. But look at this. That's 80 mile an hour right there, guys. No hands on the wheel. 85, 90, shifting to third. That's awesome. Wow, that is impressive. How many cars handle 318, like that? 318 two barrel. Gets up to speed like that and handles as well. And it's quiet inside. Oh. How much? You're 60 mile an hour right here. It's a great car. You can jump in and drive this car anywhere. Yeah. Brakes are perfect on it. You got power disc. Shift it down to first. Got the little slapstick on it. This car's ready to go, man. I'd sell this to anybody. It's a great car. Um, very reasonably priced, guys. We're gonna price this one at $38,995, just under 40,000 bucks for a Barracuda. You can jump in it, drive it, enjoy it. Exactly, check it out, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for you know, videos like this.